Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will learn about how we can create a live currency converter. Right? For getting the data in runtime, we need an API where this data is present already. Right? To create this app, we need following things. First, we need this request module. Then what we need? We need an URL where Default API keys will be available and then we need to run the URL, check the response later. How we want to convert, what amount we want to convert, from which currency we want to convert and what is the target currency that the currency will be converted to, right? Then we will fetch the data in JSON format and then convert the data. This is the basic thing that we require to create a live currency converter, right? To get the API, to get the free API, I would say, you can log into this exchange rate API. I will provide this in the description as well. So this is the default key. When you create your account, you will get this uh, default API key. And this is the request format that you can use. So at this point, at this place, this is the API key and this is the base currency right now let's go to the code let's create our python file currency let's call it as live currency converter dot pi right we need request module first so we need to install it so how we can install it open your cmd and pip install requests so this module is already installed for me you can install it and you can move forward right first of all what we need we need to import this request module to run the url right and then let's copy our api key from the website so you can copy API keys from here. You need to create your account first. You will get the default key. And 1500 API requests are available for free. So I think this is more than enough. You can use these API. Paste it here. And let's create one variable for source currency. So all the exchange rates will be converted based on the source currency, right? So I'll show you what I mean by that source currency. Let's say in R, we can say in Indian rupees, we want to have the source currency, right? So let's create our URL also inside the F string. So just copy this request instead of this, we can have our API key so it acts as a variable and then same here also copy the source currency here so all the exchange rates will be available based on this source currency right so if you want to convert from INR to USD it is just the simple multiplication that you need to use right so now we have our API key in place, source currency in place, and then the URL we have, right? Let's see if we are able to connect with that URL. If we are getting the successful response, then we can move ahead. Let's check it out, right? So how we can do that? Let's call it a variable response. Then request dot get is the method to call this URL and then type URL, right? Now we will get the response here, right? To know whether it is a pass or fail, for that we need to check the status code as well. So we can type it as if response dot status code. If status code is 200, it means we have successfully hit the API, right? Then we can get the response afterwards. So we can print for now, yes, we hit the API right 
so let's run it so now you can see we have this yes we hit the api right now what are the input parameters we need to convert we need the source currency we need the amount and we need the target currency right so for now what we can do let's have a variable for amount so take it from the user take the input function and type enter the amount okay so we need to enter the amount and then we have the source currency in place let's take the input from the user for the source currency now so we can use input and enter enter the source currency so that we can get the data based on the source currency exchange rates based on the source currency now similarly we need the target currency so we'll type it as target currency here enter the target currency we need to enter in uh, like in the format of three characters like example INR similarly for example we need to put USD right now so amount can be in decimals so let's typecast it to float all right so now we have amount in place we have source currency in place we have the target currency in place from the user we have the URL we have got the response already now what we need we need to see how the data looks like so instead of print what we can do we can take a variable called data and ask for response dot json so we get the data in the json format here let's print it data right so for now amount and all uh, we can we can fix it so what we can do for now we just need source currency we can type it as inr and we need the amount just to see the data so let's amount as 1000 all right so for now i will comment these lines we can make it user friendly later so we have source currency now amount now and run this now you can see whole dictionary is coming in the response right your conversion rate starts from this key from here the currency which are available for this api are present here and their exchange rates as the value right it's just that now we need to call the conversion rate and then the currency name right and then we can have the exchange rates right so what we can do now we need the conversion rates first so we will get the now uh, the dictionary where all the exchange rates are available so what we can do we can have a variable conversion rates equals to data of conversion underscore rates so conversion rates is the key for the exchange rates right let's check we are getting the 
dictionary for the conversion dates now or not so let's print conversion dates save this and run this let's first clear this and then run this again now you can see that we have the whole dictionary of exchange rates with their currency and the value right now we have the conversion rates in the place now we need to check whether the target currency which user is going to provide is available inside the conversion rates dictionary or not so we need to keep a check for that so what we can do we can have if target currency we are going to provide the target currency likewise this so for now we can have a fixed target currency let's say usd okay if target currency in where in conversion rates right if this target currency is available inside conversion rates then we need to fetch the exchange rate of that target currency so how how we can do that exchange rate equals to conversion rates and inside that we need to provide the target currency so that we can get the exchange rate of that target currency right so what we can do we can type target currency okay now we have the exchange rate we can get the converted amount now simply how converted amount let's have a variable converted amount equals to amount into exchange rate and that's it your currency converter is ready here it's just that we need to print that right so converted amount is we can provide let's take f string here converted amount is converted amount space and tell about the target currency as well okay let's correct it so now we will be able to convert the source currency's amount into target currency amount okay let's put a else check also if target currency is not found then say currency not found currency not found and we need to place another check for else also if status code is not 200 then print invalid url okay now what we can do we can simply run our code so let me show you the console and clear this out let's run this now so now we have 1000 INR and we want to convert 1000 INR into USD let's see let's run this now you can see 1000 INR equal to 12.03 US dollars right so this is how you can convert your currency now what you can do let's eliminate these fixed values and get the data in runtime from the user itself so let's run this program again enter the source currency example INR INR right what amount I want to convert let's suppose 1000 only and now I want to convert to euro so for euro we can type it as EUR so converted amount is 11.29 UR right so 1000 INR are equivalent to 11.29 euros so this is how you can actually play around with your currency and exchange that you can see what is the ex exchange rate right and you can convert it also so this is how you can create your live currency converter so let's take a recap first we need an API right so we can you can get the API from here after sign up to this website 
and get the URL here. Tell your base currency, then check the response if it is 200. Get the data from user that what is the source currency, what is the amount you want to convert, what is the target currency, right? And then multiply it with the exchange rate and that's it. If you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you.